Good morning, fellow social mediaites. Because <laughs> we damn sure ain't socialized. Anyway, thought I'd make another episode of things that pissed me off. So, I'm sitting here watching the news, listening to all these yahoos and morons on TV, these economic experts, telling us how taxing the rich and the people that make four, over 400000 a year is going to help the economy. It's going to take care of the middle class. How stupid are these people? I mean, it was just like a year ago, maybe two, that they voted to increase taxes on property owners. And then they're like, oh, property tax and rent went up. No shit, genius. Where do you think, where do you think they're going to get their money? They still got to pay their mortgage. So if they got a mortgage that say, I don't know, 1500 bucks a month, just, just, just we'll just say a thousand, thousand bucks a month. Okay, that's their mortgage. Then they have to turn around, they have to pay insurance, they have to pay taxes, all on that. So yeah, that up, that's like, I don't know, 12, 1300 bucks a month, if you're, if you're lucky. Okay, so that's 1300 bucks a month. They turn around and charge you 1500 bucks a month for rent. They're making 200 bucks a month on rent. The benefit for them is you're paying their property off. That's why they never like rent. Because basically you're pissing in the wind. You're paying for somebody else's stuff. And you're going to end up with nothing. Absolutely nothing. All you got is a roof over your head. And at the end of the day, you got nothing to show for it. That's why I never believed in renting anything. I had to a few times because I was in bad shape. But So if you have to, I get it. But that's not the optimal living of the American dream. So these morons are out there, oh, tax them, tax them. Well, <clears throat> you know, when the taxes go up, now instead of 1300 bucks a month, they're paying 1500 bucks a month. So if anything goes wrong, where are they gonna get the money to fix that apartment that you're complaining about? When your air conditioner breaks, when your uh, heater doesn't work, when your water goes out or you bust a plumbing line, where, where are they gonna pay for that if they're not making any money? They're just supposed to have it because they're rich, just because they own property. Just because you own property don't make you rich, I promise. I own property, that don't make me rich. I promise you, I ain't rich. But the thing is, you're taxing them. You increase their taxes, they have to roll that on in order to make a profit. Now, some of these companies, you know, they're making a lot of money. They're still gonna roll it on. You think they're just gonna give up their profits to their shareholders and be like, well, but we need to do the general public injustice a service by just making less money so that they can have a, a more money in their pocket. Hell no, that ain't what happens ever, ever. I mean, you might, I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever done that. Oh, let me just take a, let me take a loss so that these, 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 these other people can have a better, have more money to spend on their own family. That shit don't happen. Companies are in business to make money. Simple fact. You're not in business to do justice for other people. You're not in business to make it more comfortable for everybody to live. You're in business to work, to make money. The exact same reason that you have a job, to make money. That's the only reason anybody has a job. Unless you're just rich and trust fund baby and you're just bored. But other than that, I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of people that work, work for money. Same thing with corporations, they work for money. So if you tax their money, they then have to pass that on to keep their profits the same, or, you know, close. They might take a little cut, but they're not gonna take all that brunt of taxes and not pass any of it on to the consumer. So they pass it on to the consumer. Well, what happens then? Your rent goes up. Same thing with taxing corporations and people that make over $400,000. So I don't know where these experts in economy got their, their credentials, but, you know, I, I only owned a little bitty old piddly business, but I can tell you right now, if they increase my taxes, I had to increase the, the uh, cost of, of services and goods in order to stay afloat. You know, I was a small business, so I wasn't making billions of dollars, but those companies don't make billions of dollars by paying less in taxes and, and not passing it on. They don't make billions of dollars on accident. They make billions of dollars because they know what the hell they're doing. So they're gonna turn around and they're gonna pass all that right on to the middle and lower class. So you think them rich people give a shit about paying an extra dollar a gallon for gas? They don't, they don't care. It's piddly change, man, that's nothing to them. Some people struggle paying for a full tank of gas to get to work. Why? So they can put food on the table. But the rich people, they could care absolutely less. I mean, they don't give a flying flip about your problems. So. You think they're sitting around worrying, oh man, if they raise our taxes, that's gonna 
man, we're going to have to eat all that because we can't pay our employees less. We can't, you know, charge the consumer that extra money. Well, hell no, they're just like, all right, well, you charge us 10% more, we're going to charge 10% more. Their profits are going to stay the same or go up, I promise. Because they're either going to reduce uh, employee salaries or, which is going to affect the, the workers, or they're going to increase their products, goods, and services, which is going to affect the consumer. It's not going to affect the rich. Man, if I make $400,000 a year, you think I'd be worrying about a little bit of the price of gas to get to work? No. You know, if, hell, if I made half that, I wouldn't worry about getting, getting to work. You know, I might have somebody flying me to work every day if I made that much money. Shit. But you, you get these idiots in there, and they're like, oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to have to worry about it. You know, they're only going to pay the taxes. It's not going to affect anybody else. Just the rich. You know, you're, you're living in the fantasy world. So how are you going to do, you're, you're basically going to vote to tax the, the property owners, and then your rent goes up and you're shocked. And then a year, year and a half later, you forgot all that, I guess, and you're like, oh, let's tax corporations, because that won't affect us. <laughs> That's like the, the exact definition of insanity, doing the exact same thing twice. I mean, does people not remember Obama giving out all that money to all these corporations and them sending their corporate executives on vacation? They don't do things for us. They don't give a shit. They don't. I mean, those companies that got those billion dollars handout, that was to bail them out, not send their, their corporate executives on vacation to other countries. It was to increase the U.S. economy. It didn't, because those companies just took money and did whatever the hell they wanted with it. And there was no repercussion. So you think that they care now? No, they're gonna pass it right on. So quit saying that it's only gonna affect the rich because we all know that's horse. Well, the smart ones know it's horseshit. You know, stupid people still think, oh, it's only gonna affect the rich. I only make $10,000 a year, it ain't gonna affect me. Yeah, yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, and so for that 10,000 right now, it cost you 2,000 to get to work. It's gonna cost you 3,000 to get to work now. So you only gonna make, you know, $7,000 a year or whatever, you know, that's just, a number but yeah it's, it's most definitely going to affect you so uh, just stop you know just just stop with it's only going to tax the rich just say what it is you know it's a tax on everybody you know yeah it's it's directed at the rich but to think it's not indirectly going to affect everybody in the lower and or the middle and lower class you're nuts you're stupid and you need to go to school that's all i can i i I, I don't even know where you're getting this. So, unless you're just a sheep and you just believe everything you're told, look it up, Hoss. It ain't hard to find. It was just a year or so ago, you know, and before that, it was in, during the Obama administration when he gave it all that money and all them companies just took it and went overseas. <laughs> They're like, hell yeah, vacation, baby. You know, it's been a hard year. Woo, we lost a lot of money. Let's go on vacation. <laughs> so, pull your head out. Do your own research. I mean, people say, oh, you, you do your own research. That's dangerous. No, it ain't. That just means you're informed. Yeah, you might find some misinformation. But compare and contrast, man. Didn't, didn't you learn that in, like, elementary? Compare and contrast? That's where you look at multiple different situations and then you see what the difference is. Well, if all of them say, oh, it's, 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 it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's probably fake. But if three of them say it's fake and four of them say it ain't, man, do a little more. Compare and contrast, man. Figure out what it is. Anyway, that's just something else just pisses me off. So, y'all have a good day. Like and subscribe. I wasn't able to make the video uh, that I wanted to this weekend, running some technical issues. But I've ordered the parts, and uh, we'll have it up hopefully at the end of this, this coming weekend. So, anyway, have a good week, and uh, I'll probably rant something out tomorrow. All right.